Hey folks, I'm Jim Dufault for Jackson Systems here in Indianapolis. Wanted to take a quick moment to go over our VCS system, the Jackson System VCS, our ventilation control system, or also known in the industry as a fresh air ventilation system. So Jackson Systems offers this in a kit. Uh, it is our VCS-06 kit. So it'll come with a six inch damper, it's going to come with a transformer, and then it'll come obviously with the VCS panel. Uh, this entire kit will run you $165, uh, but you also can buy just the panel. So in the event that you happen to be working in a home that already has some type of fresh air ventilation system, well, we can provide a panel should the panel that is already there uh, goes, a, goes a muck. So uh, we can provide you a panel independent. The panel itself again is $89. The entire kit at $165. So the first thing you're going to notice obviously is the damper. It's a six inch damper. It looks pretty much like any other damper. Uh, it's a two wire. So the configuration that this will come in is going to be a power open spring close type configuration, which is a little different than the normal damper where they're typically a, a power close spring open. So this will come with the, the power open spring close setup on the, uh, on the actuator. And the reason why we do that is so in, in the middle of winter time, say the, uh, the fresh air ventilation system is in, in operation and you have a power failure. So what will happen is the damper will go ahead and close. Uh, that way, if you do have a power failure, obviously the air handler is not, you know, not working, you're not bringing heat into the home. Uh, you don't want uh, a lot of just really cold 30 degree or, or less air coming into the house. So the damper will automatically go ahead and close. And then we also provide a transformer. Now this transformer is for powering the damper and then of course the panel itself. Now on the inside of the panel, as with all Jackson system panels, uh, we go ahead and we put in the, uh, the installation instructions uh, on the inside of all of our panels. That way it's right there, it's handy, it's going to give you the, uh, the wiring diagram and some setup instructions down below to help you through that process. So now looking at the inside of the, uh, the panel itself, I have a camera over the top of it. I just want to point out some things about our panel that may differentiate us from other panels and other fresh air ventilation systems. So the first thing you're going to notice with our, our VCS panel is obviously this, this row of LED lights at the top. These are indicator lights that are going to let you know, like for instance, you know, for instance that the, uh, the, the panel is indeed powered, uh, that the transformer is receiving power, uh, the fan is on. Uh, if the damper is open and then of course we do have an option on this for an exhaust fan uh, that'll also come on with that as well and then the other item that a lot of folks notice right away is this dial this is called a potentiometer this is where uh, the the tech is going to go ahead and dial in the amount of minutes that are needed for fresh air to come into the home as per the uh, ASHRAE 62.2 standards. So the Jackson Systems VCS system is, uh, does comply with uh, all ASHRAE 62.2 standards and guidelines. So what will also come with the panel and with the instructions is going to be this graph. So this is what's going to, to help uh, the, the installer determine how many minutes that he's going to need to set the panel at to open up for those amount of minutes coming into the system. So uh, realistically, he's, all he's gonna need to know is three things. He's gonna need to know the, the approximately, anyway, the square footage of the home that he's in, how many bedrooms the home has, and then the length of duct work for the fresh air to come in from the outside. Once he calculates that, it's gonna let him know how many minutes that he needs to set that dial to uh, for, the, for the fresh air system to, to go ahead and bring air into the home. So. Now, what one thing our system does that kind of separates us a little bit is that we don't just open up the damper and bring in, so say that the house needs 30 minutes worth of uh, fresh air being brought in. It just doesn't open and just start dumping air into the home. What our system uh, does is, so say, so say the configuration asks for 30 minutes worth of fresh air coming into the home. Our panel goes ahead and divides that in two. So it says I need 15 minutes worth of fresh air coming into the home within the first half hour, and then I need an additional, uh, an additional 15 minutes worth of fresh air coming into the home in the second half hour. Now, what's really unique about our panel is we just don't go ahead and open up the panel. Like I said, we actually wait for the system to call. That way, when you're bringing fresh air into the home, coming into the return, it's actually going to become conditioned air. So we just don't bring in air uh, all on its own. We wait for the system to call. So in that first half hour, it's saying I need 15 minutes worth of fresh air. So what will happen is it'll wait until the system goes ahead and calls. Then when the system calls, it's going to go ahead and activate the damper, the panel, the fan, and everything's going to, to go ahead and operate. Fresh air is going to come into the, into the return. That air is going to be conditioned, and it's going to go out throughout the home. 
if the system notices that it's not going to be able to meet that 15 minutes in that first half hour, there's just not enough call, uh, not enough calls coming in through the uh, through the air handler. That's when the system will go, oh, hey, I need five more minutes of fresh air. The damper will go ahead and open. The system will kick, kick the fan on the air handler and, and fresh air will start coming in. And then that next half hour kicks around, the process starts again. The panel waits until uh, there, there's a call from the system. So now also looking at the, the panel again here real quick, uh, we do have an override switch and this switch will basically keep the panel in either automatic mode or auto mode rather and or closed so you can actually shut the system down completely. And then on this side of the panel over here on the left side is where you're going to go ahead and wire in uh, from the air handler uh, where you're going to go ahead and wire your damper in and your 24 volt and so forth. And then on this side, now this is where our, our panel gets a little unique. We do have a couple of terminals here for an exhaust fan. So should you be installing an exhaust fan in the home that you're in or there's already an exhaust fan in the system or within the home, you can go ahead and wire the system into that so when the VCS goes ahead and uh, opens the fan and begins to bring fresh air in, it's also going to kick open the exhaust fan. And when that happens, that's going to allow the home to have more turns. You're going to get more fresh air coming through the home that way. So we do have that as an option. Another great feature of our panel is this o, these, uh, these O terminals right here. This is for an override switch. This is fantastic. So if you've got, uh, if you've got this set up for the homeowner, it's going to be almost like a light switch, basically. So if the homeowner has a lot of smokers in the home, uh, a lot of pets or whatever the case may be, or for if they happen to be having a party around the holidays and there's a lot of people in the home and the air's just getting stale, the homeowner can go ahead and just click on that override switch and it's going to go ahead and activate the, the VCS system. It's going to turn the air handler fan on and it's just going to start bringing fresh air in until he shuts that system off. And then finally, on our panel as well, down here at the bottom, we've got a couple L terminals. Now what these do, these are override terminals for an outside temperature sensor or an outside humidity sensor. And that again is going to override the system. And the reasoning behind this is, is quite simple. So let's say uh, you're in the middle of winter and you've had the house heated, you know, it's been heated, it's down to 70 degrees, it's exactly where you want, or it's up to 70 degrees obviously in the winter time. So the, the inside of the home is nice and warm. Uh, but outside, it's a balmy five degrees. Uh, so that's probably the, the last type of air that you want to bring in. And then also, conversely, in the summertime, again, you've got the house cooled. Uh, it's at 70 degrees. It's exactly where you want. But outside, it's 90 degrees, and the humidity is 70 percent. Uh, you don't really, that's really not fresh air. That's the last thing you want to be bringing into the home. So that will allow you to go ahead and set up that temperature and humidity so that uh, that way it'll override the system. Now again, when you, uh, when you install this system, there's a couple things that you want to take note of. Obviously, you will want to insulate the ductwork coming in because you are going to be bringing in air that's going to be quite a bit different in temperature than the, than the inside air, so you're going to get condensation in the system. So you will want to make sure that the ductwork coming in uh, to the, through, the v, v, yeah, through the VCS system rather is going to be insulated to help with that condensation. You're also in a horizontal type application. You're going to want to have a little bit of drop from the air handle out to the exit where the, uh, the air intake is coming in because, again, you are going to get some condensation and you want to make sure that that water is going to go ahead and drain to the outside of the home. And finally, uh, you also want to make sure about where you have this intake on the outside of the home. Uh, you want to make sure that if you're up in the snow belt, uh, that the, the, the system, the intake on the outside of the home is going to be high enough so that if you do have quite a bit of snow, that it's not trying to suck snow in through the system. And, uh, or you don't want to have it near where there's, you know, the garage where you're going to have uh, exhaust fumes from a car, paint, gasoline, those types of things. So just be mindful of that when you are installing the, the system as a whole. So that's pretty much it. The Jackson Systems VCS, the ventilation control system, our fresh air ventilation system. Uh, we do have these in stock. They are ready to go. Again, $165 for the kit. Uh, it is small enough. It's something that you should have in stock should you need it. And uh, we are more than welcome and more than happy to, to answer any questions that you have. You can reach us anytime at 888-652-9663 if you want to talk to somebody or you have some engineering issues that you want to go over with the system and an installation. And or you can also go online at www jacksonsystems.com. You can find a lot of useful information about the VCS and all of our panels and dampers right there at our website. So that's it. I'm Jim Dufault for Jackson Systems. Thanks for watching. Jackson Systems. Controls done right.